So what's on your mind today? Hi, I'm Lady Terry B. Jones, the creator of What the Scriptures Say Day, Scripture Memorization Techniques, where every day we're spending anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes in the Word of God, becoming more like Him, equipping ourselves to do the work of ministry so we can compel men to give their lives to Christ. And on today, Monday, what is it that we do? We use the power of a pen and paper and we write it. We write the set of scriptures that we are memorizing. And at this time, we are memorizing Psalms 23 and verses 1 through 6, okay? And so, if you do not have the scripture memorization guide, you can comment guide below and I'll get it to your inbox. And so, because we are writing this set of scriptures three times, right? One for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost, okay? And so as you are writing these scriptures down, you know, reminding yourself that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want and how he leads you and guides you and how grace and mercy follows you. Uh, why don't you just also just take a moment and write down what does that mean to you, okay? Knowing that your heavenly Father right, is your shepherd. He is the one that's leading you down the path that you're taking, right? And so as you are reading uh, the word, just meditate on it. Find a, a spot, you know, whether it's your bathroom, you know, a living room, family room, wherever it is, find a quiet time, you know, to just spend in the word of God, okay? And also, we're in the midst of a Bible reading challenge, right? And so on today, we are reading Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel chapters 25 to 27, okay? And so with that in mind, let me switch over to the Bible trivia question for today. And it comes from 1 Samuel 28 and 5, which says, And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly what? Comment your answer below and tune in on tomorrow where I'll reveal to you the correct answer. And the answer to yesterday's question was lips. Okay. Oh. In the meantime, give someone a hug, show someone a smile, and let someone know that Jesus loves them and you do too. And I'll see you on tomorrow with the next scripture memorization techniques. Have an awesome rest of the day.